Hello everyone. Good evening. Hope you guys are doing great. And my name is Rajesh Thakur and today I am going to discuss about intent and entity classification model. As it is a key part of any kind of NLP task, I can say without this, it is very hard to implement or develop any kind of NLP based application. So with, with the continuation of the same thing, I'm going to today discuss about intent and entity classification model. Before going to start about intent, what is intent, what is entity, I would like to talk about something about the intent and entity. I will not go with the bookish definition, which is already given in this presentation. You guys can see intent is what is the task to taking the written or spoken input and classify the based on what the user want to achieve. Like if you if let's say take an example of make my trip, right? So let's suppose make my trip. The, why people are going to the make my trip application? Just because of book the ticket, cancel the ticket, reschedule the ticket, reschedule their journey, or many things, right? So there is a different kind of workflow is there all together, like booking ticket there is a all together is a different fraud flow should be like source and destination and date of journey and how many passenger will be and uh, timing all the things will come into the picture right similarly if you want to cancel the ticket then again the different workflow together is that it is like for cancellation the ticket it it should ask the what what is your ticket number what which date you want to do cancellation the ticket a lot of things are coming right so this is the different kind of workflow if we have to trigger then we should go with the intent classification this is just intent class once we identify which workflow has to be triggered then we should go with the intent classification model then coming to the entity classification model what is the entity classification just let's suppose once we identified our intent okay this intent is a uh, book ticket this intent is cancellation of ticket this intent is reschedule the journey all the things like once once we identified then what are the parameters we need like it's a text based and unstructured data we are going to deal so user can pass anything like anything means anything is he or she can pass pass some kind of uh, you know different language some kind of different kind of uh, you know anything they can pass they can pass a song as well right so with that we have to extract our information what we are looking for let's suppose if 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 uh book ticket intent has been identified then what we want like source station destination station then date of journey how many passengers we want like right this kind of entity we have to extract from the from the text and then we have to do whatever action we have to perform then in that case entity extraction model will come into the picture hope we understood this intent and entity classification what is the intent what is the entity many models will be here like uh, for the intent classification bird is there spacey lot of things is there entity there is a spacey and bird is also doing the same job but i will go with the industrial based or uh, you know approach and i did lot of you know experiment to finalize this model okay so without getting delay let's understand the our presentation once we'll complete the presentation then uh, we'll show you the practical implementation all together and then we'll 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 wrap up this playlist okay so how to implement this entity extraction order so first i'm showing you how to uh, implement the entity extraction model so there is some few certain steps are there to train custom entity extraction model number one prepare your data set which you want to train the model like every every model has to be trained on some certain data set right so first we have to prepare that data set second convert the unlabeled data into because we are going to train our entity extraction model on spacey right so first thing is that we have to convert our unlabeled data which we not labeled that data into spacey understandable format that i will show you then label your data set using the label studio will show you how to label the data set as well and then import the label data set into spacey understandable format so two things we have to import first without labeled then second time with label then pre-processing then we will start the training then we will start the inferencing then we will do the we'll create a web app and we'll show you how how we are going to use this web in inside of web application right so yeah so this is all about these presentations. Now in the next video, I'll come up with the, some practical implementation, how we can do these things in a practically. So hope you enjoyed this playlist. And if, if, if you really like this video, please put a thumbs up. Please do subscribe our channel. So never missed our update. Thank you. Thank you for watching.